Welcome again, Maxim here. In this video, I will show you what syndicates are, how they work, how to join a specific one, and how to farm standing points. There are currently 19 syndicates in the game, 6 faction ones, 2 syndicates on Cetus, 3 on Fortuna, 2 on Necrolisk, 1 on Zariman, Conclave, Cephalon Simaris, and Kals Garrison. There is also syndicate related to the cyclical event Plague Star and Nightwave. The last one is not exactly the same syndicate as all the others, but it is a variation of them. In this material I will describe only the six basic ones and those not related to the open worlds, except for Zariman. This place and syndicates on Fortuna, Cetus and Necrolisk I already described in separate videos dedicated to them. Links to those materials in the upper right corner of the screen and in the description. On the third mastery rank you will gain access to the syndicates, you can manage them in the special segment on the orbiter placed on the left to the navigation. With its help, you can pledge to one of the six syndicates or jump to their headquarters. Which one you should choose, it is up to you. Each one has a different goods to offer, different types of arguments for different warframes, different weapons, etc. You can change syndicates at any time, but you can't have them all at once, and being a member of a given faction also has some consequences. Each syndicate has one that is allied, another one opposed and an enemy. Syndicates work together in pairs, but each has different ones that are against them. The fact that we are playing a mission as a member of a particular syndicate will benefit the ally, but it will have a negative impact on your relationship with two others. I will explain on the example. If you join the Steel Meridian and get 1000 standing points, you will also get 500 points in Red Veil. But the consequence of this will be loss of the 500 points in the new Loka and the 1000 in the pairing sequence. This is how all syndicates are related to each other. It is impossible to have a good relations with all faction syndicates at the same time. The easiest thing is to have a positive relations with two. But if you want, it is possible to have these up to four of them. But it requires more work. I will explain a little bit later how to achieve that. First you need to know a few more basics. Let's get back to how to join one of them. Open the syndicate management panel in your orbiter. If you never pledged before or you want to change your pledge, you will see this screen. After selecting one of the syndicates, this screen will change its appearance. On the left you can choose one of the syndicates to check their offer or visit them on the relay and on the right you have a change pledge button. From the moment of pledge, 15% of the experience gained on the missions will be converted into points for the syndicate you have chosen. You can only pledge to one syndicate at a time, but you can change your pledge at any time. Each day you will be able to earn a specific number of points for the syndicate you choose. Your daily limit increases with mastery rank and its amount for a given level is calculated according to the formula. DL is equal to 6500 plus 750 times mastery rank number. Your daily limit is displayed above the syndicate panel or in your profile. Daily limit refreshes when a new day starts in Warframe. You can check that in Nightwave offering screen, bottom left corner. Each new day on the timer is a reset of daily limits. Except that you can earn standing points from syndicate missions that unlock after reaching the first rank in a given syndicate. You are watching such mission right now from the beginning of this video. They are available in a special tab in the navigation. What are those missions? They are like any other regular ones and you know them very well. Extermination, mobile defense, 10 minutes of survival, sabotage, etc. The difference with these missions is that you usually play it with two helpers from a given syndicate and you can find special objects on these missions, syndicate medallions. You can find a maximum of 8 of them on a mission, but it may also happen that there will be none. You can exchange them later on a relay in the syndicate room, approach to the special NPC and trade them for standing points, beyond the daily limit. Regular medallions are worth 500 standing points, uncommon 1000 and rare 5000 points. If there are medallions on a given mission, one of them will be always a rare one. Thanks to this, you earn around 10,000 standing points just from the medallions, if you find all 8. Ok, but how to find them? First of all, turn on the large map with the M key, it will make it easier. To look for them, you need a loot detection and some explosive or area effect weapons, like Ignis. If you want to use that one, make sure you have some kind of pine through in your build, but you can also use Firestorm mod. Warframe's area skills that break containers, such as Zaku's fort ability, are good as well. 
Thanks to this, you will be able to quickly and efficiently open all containers and pick up everything that is shown on a minimap, because medallions are marked on it as a resource or container. Do high jumps from time to time. Often the medallions lie in various unusual places under the ceiling, or in some special recesses that you had no idea about. At the beginning, keep loot detection range as big as you can. Over time you will learn where the medallions may be, and you will search for them way faster and with only one loot detection mod. But if you already have access to the Zariman, you can get Parallax. If you want to know exactly how it works and how to get it, check out the video that is now in the upper right corner of the screen, but link to it is also in the description. Thanks to the Parallax, as an option of air support, you will be able to use the Orokin Eye skill. Syndicate medallions and other unique objects within 150 meters from the call point will be marked on the minimap for all players. Using this, you can learn faster where to look for them. The medallions are not affected by any resource boosters. Points that you gain from finishing those missions are not counted with the daily limit. You can see how many points you get from a given mission on the mission selection screen. This value will be increased by 15%. Additionally, you can also come across Universal Medallion worth a 1000 points. You can get it from Disruption Missions, and it can be exchanged in most of the Syndicates. I mentioned the rank of the Syndicate earlier. In any of the Faction Syndicates, you can have rank from minus 2 to 5. At the beginning, you are at rank 0, neutral. As you play missions, you will earn points, and by having the maximum of them, you can rank up to the next level, by sacrificing all your points and by paying some credits, resources or even prime parts. However, in other syndicates, you will lose your rank, down to levels minus 1 and minus 2. That will cause appearance of the death squad from the time to time during your missions. The enemy syndicate will send to you a hostile Exynos units. This is not a high price to pay for opportunity of gaining points in other syndicates. Each subsequent rank requires more and more points. At rank 5, you can have a maximum of 132,000 standing points. Now let's get back to the topic of good relations. What to do to have them with 4 faction syndicates? You have to follow these few steps. Join two syndicates. In the diagram, Syndicate 1 and Syndicate 2. Their allies are also important. Ally 1 and 2. Which syndicates can be in this role are determined by two conditions. Condition 1. Syndicate 2 and Ally 2 cannot be opposed to one or enemy of Syndicate 1. Condition 2. Syndicate 2 must have Ally 1 as an opposed one. After choosing two syndicates, make them both to rank 1. From now on, this is how you should get standing points. The most important thing is to use the daily limit. Start every day from that or from missions for Syndicate 1, because missions for Syndicate 2 will decrease your Ally 1 standing. By doing syndicate missions for both sides, you will get to zero in Ally 1, but sometimes you can get more profitable missions on some side, or find more medallions. Best way is to start with daily limit or missions for first syndicate. Summarizing, this is what you have to do. Firstly, by working with Syndicate 1, do not diminish the reputation of Syndicate 2 or its ally. Secondly, play syndicate missions first for Syndicate 1, then for 2, so that you don't start with negative points to Ally 1. You should also avoid playing missions for Syndicate 2 right after you gained a new rank with Ally 1, because then you will get back to your old rank there. And thirdly, use your daily limit of standing points to take advantage of Ally 1. In such scenarios, you can play the following Syndicates. Syndicate 1, Steel Meridian, Syndicate 2, Cephalon Suda. Then you gain Red Veil vale and Arbiters of Hexes. Or Red Veil vale first and New Loka second, Allied Meridian and Perrin. There is also a third way of having four syndicates, but this is an exception to rules I presented. Set the pairing sequence and hexes at the first syndicates, but if you look closer at them, you will see that they are opposed to each other. However, their allied syndicates do not suffer from this relationship. Primary syndicates will reduce each other by 50%, so primary and allied syndicates will have exact the same standing gain, 50%. This combination is possible, but because of this relation, this is the slowest growing syndicates combination, but possible, if someone wants those four. Nevertheless, I personally recommend the first or the second combination I presented. Ok, let's move on to the less complicated things, the Conclave. This syndicate is similar to those you know already, initiation on the relay, daily limits, rewards for points and points from missions. 
However, it is impossible to have a negative rank here, and the missions are not regular ones anymore. These are PvP games, available from the special panel to the right of the Orbiter navigation. Annihilation, free for all. Team Annihilation, two teams against each other. Cephalon Capture, capture an enemy Cephalon and deliver it to yours, don't let your opponent do the same. And the last mode is Lunaro, two teams up to three players, two goals and a special claw for grabbing and throwing the ball. In Conclave you get points for completing missions, defeating opponents or score. Additionally, daily challenges and weekly missions are available in the Conclave panel in the upper right corner. By doing them, you will earn extra points beyond the daily limit. However, if you complete all the missions, you will receive a large reward from Teshin to your inbox. 50,000 standing points, rare weapon stands, 10 rare resources and 100,000 credits. Note that in Conclave, weapons and characters have their stats changed and this mode has its own dedicated mods. Let's move on to the next one. Cephalon Simmeries. You will find them on a relay. He is engaged in the preservation of all kind of beings, human and others. After entering his room, you will see a point in the center with the Cephalon itself. And in the back on the sides there are two more points. On the right is his shop. You can buy dedicated scanners there, put them in a gear wheel and you can gain points by using them. On the left is where you define which creature you will be handing on a mission. Each such creature requires 10 unique scans. You can also get a daily targets from Simaris himself. If you hear a special transmission from Simaris while starting the mission, it means that there is a synthesis target somewhere in this location. When you take out the scanner, you will see levitating squares. They will move in the direction you have to go to find the target. Your target will be marked on the minimap if you are close enough. It will require you to scan a few weak spots to capture it. To make things easier, you can use traps, which are also in his shop. Each captured mob will give you a certain amount of points, depending on its level. Simari Syndicate has no ranks, you just earn and spend points. An interesting fact is that after completing story missions in which you get for example parts for Warframes, you will be able to buy these parts again from the Simari store. As for the locations to look for specific maps, in the description you will find a comprehensive guide for Synthesis Target's locations. There is no better source of information about it. I highly recommend it. Nightwave. There used to be a regular alarm system in Warframe. Now they are only occasional. You could get various interesting things from those missions, but the whole thing was mostly random. This system has been replaced by Nora's daily and weekly quests. You can access the list of tasks by clicking Nightwave image in the lower right corner, after pressing the escape key. For each task you will earn a certain amount of points, every 10,000 points you will get a reward for the new level. And as a part of these rewards, you will also get Nora's Creed, her currency. You can buy alternative helmets, various resources, upgrades or even woven parts in her shop. If you want to see more information about the tasks, you can right-click on each task to see a more detailed description or some hints. Daily tasks for a 1000 points disappear after 3 days. But if you do not complete the weekly ones, they will not be lost forever. Complete the tasks from the new week and the last week ones will keep coming back again. Each season of the Nightwave has a separate currency. When the information about the end of the season appears, be sure to spend what you have collected. There's also Cal's Garrison, available after the Veilbreaker's request. Once a week, in the Drifter's Camp, you will be able to play a special mission, during which you can complete some side activities. As a reward, you will receive cheaper supplies, which you use to trade with him. The Cal's Syndicate increases its level by one with each completed mission in a given week. So you reach max rank in week 5 after playing 5 different missions. And finally, a few words about the Operational Syndicate related to the Plague Star event. When the event appears, you can get points for completing the missions, and in return, you exchange them for goods available from Nakak's shop. The Syndicate has 3 levels, reaching the third one requires 6000 points, which means you will get it relatively quick. And that's all in this video. Good luck with your syndicates. If you have any questions, please type them in the comments or visit one of my streams. Link in the description. See you next time. Bye.